Zion is a pro Israel. I mean, it's there. For those who own, own newspapers, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is too much. And your bread bars after party is going to be crazy. It's a little late house. I mean, it won't be good, but it'll be crazy. <laughs> so I actually met James O'Keefe last night. At least I think it was James O'Keefe. It may have just been a regular pimp who made an organized labor. <laughs> NPR is having a party, but I'm sure it'll be pretty sedate. How well can a party get when it's held in accordance with Sharia law? <laughs> it's what I was told. All right, that's it. So basically, that's kind of a journey through everything we've done and um, and the impact it's had and and how it how it outrages people. I think that's the that's the that's the main thing. Is that out the videos outrage people? They 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 shock the conscience, and and that's really the power of them. And they'll continue to shock the conscience, and they'll continue to make people, even like people like John Stewart, um, they'll make people agree that this stuff is bad. And we try not to make the issues about polarizing issues, but actually about issues that everyone can, everyone can agree that's wrong to solicit money from Muslim Brotherhood. Everyone can agree it's wrong to help underage girls establish a brothel. Um, everyone can agree it's wrong. Everyone can agree it's wrong for Planned Parenting to accept money from people who want to abort all the black babies in the world. Everyone can agree these things are wrong. And so long as we frame the issues in terms of what is universally condemnable, then people will continue to be outraged. So thank you.